Hi and welcome to my kitchen. So I've got the pantry in my kitchen, it's actually located under the stairs and I'll tell you what, it's always a mess. I bet you've got something like this in your house as well. So guys, let's sort this mess out. To see the end result, stick to the end of the video. See you then. guys so um, I think this is the first project where I actually I don't have a proper plan for it um, probably the uh, title of this video should be suck it and see project but uh, there we are so basically I've got the dimensions I need the card to be and that's about it so what I'm going to be using I'm going to be using pine and I'm going to be using some plywood for the shelving and that's uh, where I am at the moment Cutting the boards the correct sizes. Okay, so this is when it starts to be a little bit more complicated and interesting. So obviously the whole build needs to be under an angle and um, I can measure that from the wall and obviously the ceiling in the in the cupboard and the kitchen but uh, to transfer that onto the piece um, it's actually I think it's actually easier um, when you do this so um, I've clamped the sides and the bottom together and now as you can see one of the beams are just basically clamped it to both of them and this is how I um, managed to get my angle so we'll be cutting off here that will go and then we'll cut off right at the back here so that will be our perfect angle to this board obviously I made sure we've got 45 degrees angles at the bottom so everything's nice and straight and in this case I was quite um, well I wasn't quite sure how to do it so basically in the end well I thought I'm gonna just cut out the end of the piece here and I'm gonna cut the main one here so this one will slot on, slot on top of it so uh, I think in this case that's the quickest and easiest way to do it uh, without making some complicated maths. But uh, in the end, you know, we'll see how it's going to come out. Having all the angles sorted, I'm just going to use it my miter saw to cut them all out. And as you can see, the no measuring method did pay off. It's um, the angles are correct. Everything comes together. Perfect. Quite chuffed with that, guys. Quite chuffed with that. As the sucker and see procedure of cutting all the parts for the card went pretty damn well, uh, I'm going to proceed to sanding now, guys. All the pieces are now sanded so it's time to put the construction together. Um, I'm going to be using pocket holes and some glue uh, to make a nice and sturdy construction. Okay, let's put everything together. I'm using a corner clamp, I'm using some glue, and I'm using pocket holes.
thanks to the corner clamp, I'm absolutely certain this is under 90 uh, degrees angle, so we can proceed with the screws now. And we'll carry on with this technique until the whole frame is finished and assembled. As you can see the frame is now completed. The next step is to put a 9mm groove that will go around at the bottom of the construction. That is for the 9mm plywood sheet that we're going to use as uh, shelves and in this case it will be the bottom shelf. And we're going to be using my uh, router with this bit to do it. Let's cut the groove on the rest of the pieces. And now guys I'm cutting the plywood sheets to the right sizes for the shelves. Right then guys, so all the boards are now done, sanded and cut to the right sizes. One thing before we actually start installing them, we need to get rid of the corners. So basically there's two ways to do that, you can chisel out the corners in the, uh, in the rack itself or what I'm going to do, I find it a lot easier, just cut the corners away. So that's what I'm going to do with my um, uh, jigsaw. Let's put some wheels on this bad boy.
And there we go guys, the main build is complete, so the last stage to do, I'm probably going to do a bit more sanding on it and then we'll apply some finish on it. Um, it's going to be polyurethane satin, uh, so hard wearing finish, just to make sure there's no dents and scratches in about a month time, uh, as we know, you know, this is pine, so it's, um, we need to secure it correctly. Let's whack a bit of finish on this bad boy. So what am I using? Uh, just a basic polyurethane varnish. It will keep it from knocks and scratches, hopefully for a long time. So uh, let's get to it. Da -da -da -da, the grand opening of the pantry. Let's have a look if we manage to sort out the mess. Well, I'll tell you what, that's not looking too shabby to me. Not bad at all. Now we've got access to everything we need and it's not too bad at all guys, a couple of features are actually uh, probably going to implement down the line, dump hooks or some sort to hold the mops and everything so they don't fall out and the light right up here so you can just press it and you can see straight away what you need. Obviously all the essentials are here on the top, the most used items so basically you don't really have to pull this out uh, every single time and then everything else. So guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the content, please subscribe to my channel, share and like, and hopefully I'll see you on my next future project. Till then, take care.